Reactions of Aryl Diazonium Ions, presented by Jordan Quick and Soheb Syed. Aryl Diazonium Ions are very versatile in that they can produce a variety of compounds. They are one of the best ways of adding functional groups to aromatic rings, such as benzene. Before we discuss what reactions Aryl Diazonium Ions can undergo, it is important to discuss how to prepare the ion. Benzene must undergo a series of reactions, three in total, in order to produce the salt. The first reaction is the addition of a nitro group onto benzene. This is achieved using nitric acid and sulfuric acid. We've included the mechanisms in the slide, but we're not going to go over it. Just know that you need a nitro benzene to form a phenyl amine. The nitro benzene that is formed can either undergo hydrogenation or can be reacted with a metal in acidic conditions to produce a phenyl amine. The usage of the metals is a more mild approach in that it won't react with other functional groups that are susceptible to hydrogenation. This last mechanism is the mechanism which produces the diazonium salt. Phenylamine is reacted with sodium nitrite and hydrochloric acid, where the acid causes the nitrite to form into nitrosonium ion. This ion then reacts with phenylamine, undergoing a series of mechanistic steps before producing the diazonium salt. Here the oxygen ion of the nitrite deprotonates the hydrochloric acid to produce nitrous acid. Then the same oxygen that was protonated deprotonates another hydrochloric acid molecule to produce an oxonium ion. Then the oxonium ion loses water producing nitrosonium ion, which then undergoes resonance stabilization. And the nitrosonium ion produced in the previous step is then attacked by a phenylamine. This produces an ammonium ion. This ammonium ion is then deprotonated by a water molecule. Then the structure that, that is formed as a result is then protonated by a hydronium ion. Then the structure is again deprotonated by a water molecule. But this deprotonation is key because it forms a double bond between the nitrogens. Then, the oxygen that's located on top of the nitrogen is protonated by a hydronium ion. This is also very important because this forms a, a good leaving group. And this is key because in this next step, what happens is that once the water leaves, the hydronium ion leaves, it causes the formation of the third bond between the nitrogen, forming the nitrogen. Now that we have an aryl diazonium ion, we can have it undergo a variety of different reactions. One of the main reaction it can undergo is called the Sandmeyer reaction. What it does is that it takes a copper salt, which consists of a copper ion and a halogen or cyano group, and reacts it with an aryl diazonium ion, producing a structure which replaces the nitrile group with the said halogen or cyano group. As you can see from the slides, you have different substituted benzenes depending on which copper salt you use. Aryl diazonium ions can react to produce a variety of different compounds. One such compound is fluorobenzene, which is created by using HBF4. Uh, another compound you can create is phenol, but it, and that is created by using H2O and heat. And the, another compound you can create is benzene, that's created by using H3PO2 as your reagent. Another reaction that aryl diazonium ions can undergo is the production of an azo dye. Azo dyes are formed by reacting an activated aromatic ring with an aryl diazonium ion. Activated aromatic rings are characterized by their ability to participate in resonance stabilization, specifically in their ability to donate electrons into the aromatic ring. This causes the ring to be a better nucleophile, which allows the formation of an azo dye. We know that color is a result of the absorption and release of light in the visible spectra. By changing the resonance structure, this alters the ability of a compound to absorb light in a specific spectra, resulting in different colors. So this is the mechanism of forming an azo dye. It involves an activated aryl compound, which is the structure over here, and a diazonium ion, which is over here. What the activated aryl compound does is that it makes the benzene ring more nucleophilic, which allows the pi bond to break and to attack basically the nitrile on the diazonium salt. So what happens is that this bond over here goes and forms a bond here instead, and this removes the pi bond within the ring, causing the benzene ring to no longer be an aromatic compound. And this forms a bunch of resonance, uh, resonance structures referred to as a sigma complex. And they get this special name because 
they used to be aromatic compounds, but they are no longer aromatic compounds. They have a they used to be a don't they lack a pi bond and they also bear a positive charge. But the but the fact that they still have pi bonds allow it to participate in uh, resonance stabilization. So the pi bond moves over there, this pi bond moves over here, the alcohol off the what used to be the benzene ring can participate in resonance structure or resonance stabilization. So you have that pi bond move over there and you have that bond form over there. And you have this structure over here. And then from here, this is what's key. This is what forms the final structure. What happens is that the hydrogen on the carbon, the carbon-hydrogen bond break, uh, causing an expulsion of a proton. And this causes the formation of bond over here. So what happens is that this electron goes back to the alcohol. This electron moves back over here. And then this breaks and forms a bond over here. And then you get your pi bonds and you reform your benzene and you get this azo dye over here. Benzene ring. 